Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in honoring our 2018 Advocate Honoree, Ms. Pat Harvey. Oh boy, I'm so very excited today for this. I usually, well I've hosted this luncheon on several occasions, so to be standing here to receive this award and the first one of its kind means more to me than, than you could know. Nearly 40 years ago, when I was five, <laughs> stable genius, <clears throat> after starting a career <laughs> in broadcast journalism, I realized what an important platform my job could provide in bringing about change in people's lives. But that was only after learning a truth. I had to cover the local school dances or the rising prices at the grocery store because, you see, that's how we broke into the news business years ago. You went to a small market. For me, it was Saginaw, Michigan. You got your footing. You did what they asked of you. But don't get me wrong. We all thought we were ready for prime time. After all, completing coursework in journalism and political science meant you could take on the world, right? I believe the purpose of journalism is to empower whenever possible. That wasn't always encouraged, though. Long after the days of covering the local dance in Saginaw while working in Chicago, I submitted a proposal to cover the onset of the AIDS virus. The legislature in Illinois at the time was considering the quarantine of people with the virus simply because they were ignorant and they feared the disease like most people. When I suggested this to the news director, he rebuffed the idea at first, thinking that as a visual medium, we can only show the virus as something in a petri dish, right? And only a particular community was affected, so why not bother with that? But I suggested it was a health issue, and we could interview the people affected, you know, the doctors treating them, tell their stories. Well, thankfully we did, as did other newsrooms around the country, and we all know what happened eventually. The disease grew even more widespread, and I'm sure one way or another, everybody in this room knew someone who was affected. I just wanted to dispel some of the myths and put out a correct narrative about this disease. And the compelling stories of the people who suffered helped to launch the quest for a cure and erase the stigma of having the disease. I would call it advocacy at its best. In closing, I will continue to use my voice to encourage others to invest in and champion the weakest among us, knowing the dividends will lift us all. And that means in South Los Angeles and greater LA and around the world. And I'm so grateful to help document the transformation of Martin Luther King Jr. Community Hospital. And I'm proud to be an advocate. Thank you.